This is Kite Cutter TV with another presentation. We got to talk about this. Okay, guys, Joe Biden is trying to abolish ICE without legally abolishing ICE. There was an internal email that was leaked to the press where he wants to limit ICE deportation enforcement. So, for example, there's certain things that he doesn't want these illegal immigrants to be deported. Some of those things are drug-based crimes, simple assault, DUI, money laundering, property crimes, fraud, tax crime, solicitation, or charges without convictions. One of those things was assaults and DUI. Now, the amount of times that I've shown drinking under the influence, what that does, especially with these illegal aliens that aren't supposed to be in the country as it is, how many people they kill driving on the roads reckless. Now, we all know that they're trying to give illegal immigrants driver's licenses. So many states around the U.S. are trying to do this, and it's gotten to the point of a crisis. We need this to stop, because if Joe Biden is trying to limit ICE, how is that in the interest of public safety? It makes no sense why you would want to do this. But once you go left, the far left, they're pushing them so far. Joe Biden and Obama deported more illegal immigrants than any other president or vice president in history. Now that they've seen the tide shift, they flip flop and they're going with public opinion. A lot of people are very sensitive and feel sympathy to these illegal aliens. And that's why this is happening. Whoever voted for Joe Biden, you got blood on your hands. Check this out. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement is gearing up to issue new instructions this week as President Joe Biden continues to work towards reversing Trump administration policies on immigration. According to internal memos and emails, many officials are frustrated with Biden's plan, saying they've abolished ICE without abolishing ICE, adding that the changes are so extreme that they are basically being told not to enforce any immigration laws. Unfinalized instructions direct agents not to deport illegal migrants for DUI or assault. In addition, agents who want to arrest illegal migrants will need to get approval from Washington first and justify how the arrest constitutes an appropriate allocation of limited resources. This, as Customs and Border Protection has been forced to release thousands of illegal migrants into the country, with thousands more expected to arrive in the coming days. President Biden revealed the controversial catch and release policy while signing nine executive orders on immigration in an effort to reverse Trump administration policies. Many experts are concerned that the influx of migrants will speed the spread of the coronavirus as CBP does not test for COVID unless symptoms are obvious. And this morning, Frederick County, Maryland Sheriff Chuck Jenkins spoke to Fox and Friends condemning President Biden's immigration changes, and that resulted in hundreds of comments on social media from people in and around the community. So Sheriff Jenkins went on to say that President Biden has dismantled ICE by telling the agents to stand down and the public will no longer be safe as a result of President Biden's changes. Sheriff Jenkins also said that Americans should be outraged at President Biden for his actions. Jenkins also added President Biden is doing this out of anger for former President Donald Trump. And they're undoing all of the strides Trump made during his term. Now, FCSO works closely with ICE through the 287G program, which has also long been a point of contention in the county. What this is going to do, this is going to be disastrous, dangerous, going to impact every county, every city, every community in this country. And, and again, this is total lawlessness. We have to have interior enforcement along with strong border security or we have no laws. We, as a whole, were disgusted by the interview. Frederick County, um, we shouldn't be told to be afraid of our immigrant community. Um, you know, we want our families to be able to stay together. Doesn't matter what color your skin is, what you may have done in your life. We want families to be able to stay together. Um, and honestly, ICE has no business in our county. Immigrants and their advocates are holding out hope that the Biden administration will represent a stark change from the previous four years of strict enforcement. And while the administration prepares a legislative strategy aimed at providing a pathway to citizenship for millions, slowing the rate of deportations by redirecting enforcement efforts will be the focus of new guidelines expected to be issued this week. There will be more accountability. There will be... Um... I think that the abuse of discretion for the officers as to who to arrest or not to arrest will be limited the way that it should have always been. The directives outlined in this memo from January 20th 
seek to refocus the agency's priorities, saying due to limited resources, DHS cannot respond to all immigration violations or remove all persons unlawfully in the United States. Rather, DHS must implement civil immigration enforcement based on sensible priorities and changing circumstances. The new enforcement priorities will now be national security, border security, and public safety. The biggest immediate effect is that after four years of attacks, we've been able to take a breath. Um, and certainly with the, the new enforcement priorities, people are able to, to feel a bit more at ease. But <laughs> there's still a lot of work to be done. ICE, with a budget of over $8 billion, is a behemoth of an enforcement agency under the Department of Homeland Security that has been around since 2002. It's been used to enforce immigration priorities strict and loose. Its discretion has been most dramatically over the previous four years unchecked. A statement from the agency says it is now implementing the civil immigration enforcement priorities directed by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security to focus its limited resources on threats to national security, border security, and public safety. But the agency also adds that it is not prohibited from apprehending or detaining individuals who are unlawfully in the U.S. and fall outside of these specific priorities. Javier Castillo Mardiaga, who is eligible for the DACA program, has been in the Hudson County Correctional Facility for over a year. Terry Lawson is executive director of Unlocal, an immigrant rights organization based in the Bronx. She is working to get him out. Under the new enforcement priorities, he is not a priority uh, for deportation. And he does not fit under the, the new priorities that went into effect in early February. However, ICE continues to hold him in ICE detention. And since the memo that, it, that laid out the new priorities was issued, ICE has attempted to deport him three separate times. The message from advocates is don't let up. The administration's directives are a welcome departure from the Trump era efforts, but the change is as evidenced by a ruling last week that overturned a deportation moratorium, are hardly set in stone. We have yet to see how these new enforcement priorities will actually play out on the ground. And of course, we are very well, very much aware that ICE is continuing to deport planefuls of people, um, you know, as, in, as to Haiti, to uh, Cameroon, to Jamaica, that has required massive interventions to, to stop those deportation flights. So on paper, it may look like immigrants can breathe a sigh of relief, but until ICE experiences a restructuring and a genuine culture shift, warn advocates, not a whole lot will really change. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News. An immigration activist and undocumented mother of four is back home in Broomfield with her children. The reunion came more than a week after she was arrested at a Border Patrol checkpoint in Texas. How long the reunion will last is uncertain. Denver 7's Eddie Guajardo spoke with the mother now trying to care for her family and cope with an arrest she describes as traumatic. Eight days of uncertainty consumed Hilda Martinez Murillo. Yo... I felt scared. There were lots of people there. At the moment, she didn't understand why she was arrested and worried about her four children back home in Broomfield. ¿Por cuánto tiempo es? My children. I was thinking that if I was going to be in immigration custody. On January 29th, Hilda was arrested at a temporary Border Patrol checkpoint in El Paso, Texas, while visiting family. That same day, she was taken to Doña Ana County Detention Facility in New Mexico on two charges for conspiracy to transport illegal aliens. With the pandemic going on, I was afraid. I didn't use a bathroom and I didn't drink, and I went on like that for about five days. On February 4th, the federal judge approved her release. For nearly 24 hours, her advocates didn't know where she was. They later learned that day she was picked up by Border Patrol and placed at a holding facility station in Las Cruces, New Mexico. On February 5th, she was taken to the hospital and later released. On February 7th, she finally arrived home. Me dijo, Mami, no te vuelvas a ir. And my little one said, Mom, don't ever leave me again. The charges Hilda faces are serious. She gave people a ride without asking if they had papers or 
or wondering, I mean, without regard to their status. Hilda came to the U.S. in 2012 seeking asylum. The undocumented mother and advocate has pushed for immigration reform. In 2020, her husband was deported. And now her future in the U.S. is uncertain. Her worries and time in jail keep her up at night. Trauma. Trauma, fear. A nightmare. It was very dirty in there. She says at one point she was in a cell with seven other people. We were in a small cell with people not wearing masks. Hilda says she's innocent. It may look bad to some people, but I didn't do anything to harm anyone or to break the law. Her future will be decided in court. Tough decisions lie ahead. But Hilda says exposing her children to the dangers back home in Mexico is not an option. Addie Guardo, Denver 7. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, God bless. Peace.